Rosetta is a space probe designed to rendezvous with the Comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko, perform flybys of two asteroids 2867 Steins and 21 Lutetia, and carry lander Philae until its landing on 67P. This page records a detailed timeline of this mission. Topic: <laughs> Launch and cruise phase 2004 to 2014. The 16th of February 2004, Rosetta was placed on top of an Ariane 5 rocket at the Guiana Space Center, Kourou. This put the mission on track for a timely launch. The 26th of February 2004, scheduled launch was stopped 20 minutes and 40 seconds before scheduled lift off and was delayed one day due to heavy winds in the upper atmosphere. The 27th of February 2004. Before rescheduled launch, a piece of detached foam was discovered, which prompted a round of technical inspections. Launch was rescheduled to very early March. The 2nd of March 2004. ESA's Rosetta mission is launched at 7.17 Greenwich Mean Time, 8.17 Central European Time. The launcher placed its upper stage and payload into an eccentric coast orbit 200 by 4,000 kilometers. About two hours later, at 9.14 Greenwich Mean Time, the upper stage ignited its own engine to reach an escape velocity in order to leave the Earth's gravity field and enter heliocentric orbit. The Rosetta probe was released 18 minutes later. ESA's Operations Center ESOC in Darmstadt, Germany, established contact with the probe shortly after that. The 3rd of March 2004. S-band communication commenced with Rosetta, using both low and high gain antenna configurations. Also, all reaction wheels were in operation, compensating for large disturbances due to outgassing from the spacecraft, which was expected to last for a few days in the vacuum of space. The 4th of March 2004. The power subsystem of Rosetta was tested and commissioned. The 5th of March 2004. Rosetta X-band communications were commissioned. The 10th of March 2004, the first three instruments Cosima, Concert, Orbiter Part, and Osiris were activated and completed their initial commissioning activities in the last three days. The Concert Orbiter antenna was also deployed. The 11th of March 2004, the Rosetta Science Working Team announces that accuracy of launch made it possible to select two asteroids as targets for a rendezvous flyby of the probe. Comets and asteroids are the building blocks of our Earth and the other planets in the solar system. Rosetta will conduct the most thorough analysis so far of three of these objects," said Professor David Southwood, director of ESA's science program in a press release. The 17th of March 2004. Over the last five days, starting on March 12, the lander was commissioned. Only one step was rescheduled due to early release of the launch locks during the first mission day. The 19th of March 2004, the Rosetta Plasma Consortium (RPC) instruments were commissioned during the previous two days. A redundant power supply seemed to have failed during a repeat check of the RPC instruments. Further investigation is underway. The spacecraft booms, carrying the RPC-MIP Mutual Impedance Probe and LAP Langmuir Probe instruments were deployed by using the primary systems. The 26th of March 2004, checked out three instruments, Rosina, Alice, and VIRTIS, during commissioning activities. Each activity took two days and was within or ahead of schedule. The high-gain antenna HGA emission pattern was calibrated by performing spiral maneuvers. The radio station at New Norcia was used to measure antenna gain. The 30th of March 2004, the RSI radio science instrument completed five days of commissioning. The 3rd of April 2004, the Miro instrument checked out well after three commissioning passes through more spiral maneuvers, during which the planet Venus was scanned. The 4th of April 2004. The Rosetta spacecraft was pointed into its attitude towards Earth, which is to be kept for the remainder of the year. Slight adjustments are planned to avoid having the sunlight hit Rosetta head-on, also called plus X axis. The JADA instrument was activated and commissioned. The 9th of April 2004. The last instrument on board Rosetta Midas was turned on during April 4 and five days of commissioning concluded. At this point all science and engineering subsystems have been activated at least once. 
Use of the radio station at New Norcia was reduced from 11 hours to 7 hours, to allow more time for the Mars Express mission. The 15th of April 2004, five days of checkout procedures for the lander concluded successfully. This second lander activity was focusing on the lander's payload. The ALICE instrument was activated again and high voltage operations were executed. Other activities performed as planned, including an adjustment of the internal heater system due to decreasing distance to the sun. The 17th of April 2004, Rosetta commissioning hit a snag, today. A pyro, designed to open the ALICE detector, did not fire. The 21st of April 2004, after some investigation, a backup pyro was fired to release the ALICE detector door. The 25th of April 2004, during a test sequence using an earth-pointing attitude, the thruster temperature heated by the sun caused an unplanned slew to occur. This mechanism is used to prevent the thrusters from overheating. Due to this maneuver, a planned imaging activity of the Earth-Moon system was cancelled, but the remaining commissioning activities were completed satisfactorily. The 1st of May 2004. The first scientific observations were performed at this date. The instruments were pointed towards the comet C, 2002-T7 linear, at that time close to the Sun. The 6th of May 2004. In preparation for the first deep space maneuver of Rosetta a total of 12 pyro valves were fired, and the pressure in the reaction control system started to build up as expected. The 10th of May 2004. The most critical deep space maneuver was successfully executed. The four thrusters on board of Rosetta were fired for about 3.5 hours, and a velocity change delta v of 152.8 meters per second was imparted to the spacecraft. The 16th of May 2004, a planned touch-up deep space maneuver was successfully executed. A burn of just under 17 minutes was performed with high accuracy. Then Rosetta pointed its instruments again towards Comet Linear for observation. The 28th of May 2004, ESA released the first pictures taken with the OSIRIS camera during the April 30th observation tests pointed at Comet Linear. The camera produced high-resolution images of the comet from a distance of about 95 million kilometers. The 7th of June 2004, Rosetta switched into cruise mode after completing all steps for commissioning the instruments. The 25th of July 2004. A week of increased activities during the Cruise 1 phase included the commissioning of the two navigation cameras by taking pictures of the Earth and the Moon. The 4th of March 2005. The first planned flyby of Earth was executed successfully. ESA asks amateur astronomers that took pictures of the spacecraft to submit them. Also, tests with the Moon as target standing in for a comet or asteroid, produced pictures and other data as expected. March 24th, Rosetta transitioned back into cruise mode. The 15th of April 2005, a test of the Near Sun Hibernation Mode NSHM was successfully concluded. It started on April 11th and tested a special low activity mode of Rosetta. In this state the gyroscopes and reaction wheels are inactive, and the craft is using the star tracker and the thrusters to control its attitude, only. The 18th of July 2005, ESA reported that the observation of the deep impact encounter with Comet Temple 1 was very successful. Science data was recorded and down-linked to Earth during the period from June 28 until July 14, and the data is currently being analyzed. The 8th of August 2005, mission members performed an unplanned monitor pass to investigate anomalies in the spacecraft's dynamic behavior. On mission day 213 and 216 a total of 20 grams of fuel were spent and a delta V of 2.5 mm per second were added unexpectedly. The 15th of September 2005. Telemetry received showed that a solar flare had hit the spacecraft around September 8 or 9. The star tracker subsystem was left in an abnormal state and needed to be fixed. The 12th of March 2006. The OSIRIS instrument was trained on the future flyby target asteroid Steins for science observation, and the data was downlinked to Earth over three days just before solar conjunction. The 6th of July 2006. 
The spacecraft comes within 0.06 astronomical units of the ion trail of comet 45P. Honda MRKO's Pydusakova and scientific observations are planned for this event. The 25th of February 2007, the spacecraft approaches Mars up to 250 kilometers. The 14th of November 2007, second Earth swing by for Rosetta passing within 5,295 kilometers from the surface. The 5th of September 2008, Rosetta flies by asteroid 2867 Steins at a distance of c. 800 kilometers. The 13th of November 2009, Rosetta flies by Earth, using the Earth's gravitational pull to build speed. Rosetta does this on nearly every flyby of a planet. The 10th of July 2010, flyby of asteroid 21 Lutetia. The 8th of June 2011. The spacecraft was transferred into a spin-stabilized mode and all electronics except the onboard computer and the hibernation heaters were switched off. <laughs> Mission phase 2014-2016 The 20th of January 2014 At 10 o'clock Central Europe time the spacecraft woke up and started post-hibernation procedures. Rosetta restored communications with ESA's operations center through NASA's Goldstone Ground Station at 1817 Central Europe time. Greets the Earth with a Hello World message. The message was received on a very low bit level. Over the next month's ESA's job will be to raise communication speed through a software update. The 7th of May 2014. First of 10 Orbital Correction Maneuvers OCMs 1H33 minutes 13S to align the trajectories of Rosetta and 67P, CG, delta V of 20 m per second 66 feet per second approximate distance to 67P, CG 1,900,000 km 1,200,000 miles The 21st of May 2014 OCM 2 of 10, longest burn 7H16 minutes with largest delta V 291 meters per second 950 feet per second using approximately 218 kilograms 481 pounds of fuel approximate distance to 67 p, CG 1 million kilometers 620,000 miles The 4th of June 2014 OCM 3 of 10, 6H 39 minutes burn time with a delta V of 269.5 meters per second, 884 feet per second, using approximately 190 kilograms, 420 pounds of fuel, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 425,000 kilometers, 264,000 miles. The 18th of June 2014. OCM 4 of 10, 2H 20 minutes burn time with a delta V of 88.7 meters per second, 291 feet per second. This was an overperformance of 5%, the first notable deviation from expected performance. Approximate distance to 67 p, CG 195,000 kilometers. The 2nd of July 2014. OCM 5 of 10, delta V of 59 meters per second, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 52,000 kilometers. The 9th of July 2014, OCM 6 of 10, delta V of 25 meters per second, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 22,000 kilometers. The 16th of July 2014. OCM 7 of 10, delta V of 11 meters per second, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 9,600 kilometers. The 23rd of July 2014, OCM 8 of 10, delta V of 4.5 meters per second, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 4,100 kilometers. The 3rd of August 2014. OCM 9 of 10, delta V of 3.2 meters per second, approximate distance to 67 p, CG 1000 kilometers. The 6th of August 2014, OCM 10 of 10, delta V of 1 meter per second. Rosetta enters a hyperbolic orbit around 67 p, CG, becoming the first man-made object to enter orbit around a comet. The 4th of September 2014. 
The first science data from Rosetta's ALICE instrument was reported, showing that the comet is unusually dark in ultraviolet wavelengths, hydrogen and oxygen are present in the coma, and no significant areas of water ice have been found on the comet's surface. Water ice was expected to be found as the comet is too far from the sun to turn water into vapor. The 10th of September 2014, Rosetta enters the global mapping phase, orbiting 67 cg at an altitude of 29 kilometers (18 miles). The 12th of November 2014, Philae successfully landed after touching down 3 times on the surface of 67 p gc without firing its harpoons. Touchdown 1608 Greenwich Mean Time The 15th of November 2014 Philae battery exhausted after insufficient collection of solar energy It is possible that the conditions may change as the comet moves closer to the sun making it possible to charge the battery The 10th of December 2014 The Rosetta's Rosina mass spectrometers report that the ratio of heavy water to normal water on comet 67P is more than 3 times that on Earth the ratio is regarded as a distinctive signature and the discovery means that Earth's water is unlikely to have originated from comets like 67P. The 14th of April 2015. Scientists report that the comet's nucleus has no magnetic field of its own. The 13th of June 2015. Philae Lander says, Hello, and comes back online. The 29th of July 2015. Published analysis of the comet interaction with the solar wind. The 12th of July 2015. Osiris photographs Pluto. The 17th of July 2015. Rosetta Philae outreach team wins Sir Arthur Clarke Award. The 3rd of August 2015. First release of the science data from Rosetta Instruments, Cosima, Osiris, Rosina, and RPC Mag. The 13th of August 2015. 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko reaches perihelion. The 11th of September 2015, ESA releases details on Philae wake up in June. The 14th of September 2015, Gaia photographs 67P. The 23rd of September 2015, release of studies of the water ice cycle on a comet. The 25th of September 2015, detection of argon on a comet is announced. The 28th of September 2015, scientists release an answer to how comet got its shape. September to October 2015, from late September to early October, Rosetta flew up to 1,500 kilometers away from the comet for further study while it's still near the perihelion. The 1st of October 2015, scientists release the results of a first study of the comet's southern pole made in August and October 2015. The 28th of October 2015, first detection of the molecular oxygen on a comet is announced. The 12th of November 2015, release of the Sesame Cas instrument recording listening to MUPUS hammering the surface. The 13th of January 2016, confirmation that the exposed ice on a surface of the comet is indeed water ice. The 2nd of September 2016, Rosetta finds its lander finally wedged against a large overhang. The 30th of September 2016, the Rosetta spacecraft ended its mission by an attempt to soft land close to a 130 meters (425 feet) wide pit called Deir El Medina on Comet 67P. The walls of the pit contain 0.91 meters (3 feet) wide so-called goose bumps, considered to be building blocks of the comet. Topic: See also List of solar system probes Unmanned spacecraft